Hello, welcome back to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For today's tutorial, we will share how to generate floor area schedule using massing during the concept stage of a design in Revit. But before we start, please don't forget to press like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future tutorials. Thank you. First, we are going to create a massing of a building. Go to the Massing and Site tab, then click in Place Mass. Using the Rectangle Drawing tool, we are going to draw it on the level 1. Let's not worry about the dimensions first, we can adjust it later on. Select the rectangle line, then click the create form icon. Then let's pull it up. We can adjust the height, just select the top surface, then edit the dimension. We can also adjust the width and length of our building massing, just select the surface and dimension will appear, then you click and edit to a dimension that you want. Then next, we are going to play around with the shape of our building massing. Let's select the corner, and we can push or pull to completely change the look of our design. Once we are happy with the shape of our massing, we click the finish mass. Now we will add the mass floor, select the massing, then click the mass floor icon. Then we will select all the floors. Ok, now we have floor mass following the profile of our building massing. The next thing we are going to do is to add the floor elements. On the massing and site tab, click the floor icon, then select all the floor mass. Then click the Create Floor icon. And now we are going to show you how to generate a schedule of the floor area in Revit. So on the Project Browser, right-click on the Schedule Quantities and select New Schedule Quantities. On the New Schedule, we are going to select Floor. Then on the Schedule Properties, we are going to select the area, then add it into our fields. Then next is the level. And I think that's it.
So now, we have the floor schedule with the area that is auto-generated based on our building massing. We can also edit the schedule properties, like if we want the level to be on the left side. So on the field, we will make it the first on the order. Then next, we want to show the overall total floor area. We go to the formatting, then select the area, and we change it to calculate totals. Okay, we have to go to sorting grouping first, then check grand totals. Wait, I want to remove the grand totals in the number 8. On the grand totals, let's choose totals only. Then, what if there are changes to our building massing? What should we do, and what will happen to our floor area schedule? Okay, for example let's make some changes on our building massing. Let's adjust the shape, adjust some corners here. And on this corner also. Then let's finish mass. Now our floor is not updated as per our building massing. So let's select the floor. Then click the update to face icon. We select every floor and update to face. Wait. Let's change graphic display options to shaded, so that it is more visible. So let's continue to select every floor and update. After that, we go check our floor area schedule. Notice that it automatically updates the area also based on the updated model. So you don't need to manually measure the floor to get the area. In Revit, it is already auto-generated and will update as you update the model. Let's show that one more time. Let's make the schedule side by side with our massing, just to show that the area update is instant. Let's make some changes again to outbuilding. Then before we update the floor, check out the area on the left. We will start from level 8. So once we click the update, notice that the area also is updated. That is how it's auto-generated. So as we update all the floors, our area table will also be updated instantly. So during the concept stage of the designs, when we are doing all the massing in the areas for our design presentation, this speeds up the process even with all the changes that we make on the building massing. Alright, that's our tutorial for today, hope that we have helped to improve your knowledge about Revit.
please feel free to explore the method and practice also to develop your skills in using Revit. The key of learning Revit is using it every day as much as possible, and make it a goal to learn at least one new function or command in Revit every day. Hope that you have learned something new from our tutorial and hope to see you again on the next one. Thank you for watching.